video I'm gonna tell you how to get Android Lollipop 5.0.2 on Moto E and note that this is only for XT1022 which is the Indian firmware version of Motorola Moto E so let's get started so you need to just head to this website www.dtechnotriad.com so go to this site it will be like this click on the first topic after you click on this how to update Moto E XT1022 to Lollipop it will take you to this this is all what you need to do so now read it all completely it's really easy how to update Moto E XT1022 to Lollipop 5.0.2 and make sure you read all these notes uh, you need to check that your current system version is this as mentioned here and make sure you have decent amount of battery life and you need to be a non-rooted uh, user and you should run completely stock, stock version of Android before applying this update and it says that you should you should make a backup of your all apps all your apps and data before applying the update but actually this is not needed so there are actually three methods on this website method 1 method 2 and method 3 so method 3 is for root users uh, and method 1 and 2 are for non rooted users so method 1 is the easiest uh, so let's let me tell you uh, how to use method one to get Android Lollipop on your Motorola Moto E. So you need to download the zip file from here. Click on this right over here. This link it will take you to this website. Click on download. It is th uh, the zip file is around 341.66 MBs. Uh, after you download this zip file. Uh, it's the this is a zip file which you just downloaded now attach your um, Motorola Moto E with, a, with the help of a USB cable to your computer uh, and then click copy this zip file to the to directly in the internal and the external storage internal storage and as you see I've actually copied this directly in the internal storage not in any folder otherwise it won't work and may give you an error so we have copied it in the internal storage of the device now we need to copy it directly in the SD card also go to SD card and you can see that uh, no, I, have, I haven't copied it yet so you need to copy that zip file here also directly click on here and paste uh, not in any folder that's a no that's to, to be noted after you do that uh, you need to just there are three ways to update uh, and the good thing is that this method is 100% safe and the proof of that is that on this website you scroll down and there are many positive comments and if you read all of the comments you will see that none of them gives any negative feedback uh, like getting a phone break or somewhat like that so that's a good thing and no chance of ending up with a bricked phone that's good and uh, you won't lose your warranty as the owner of this site that is Himanshu says and you will get official OTA updates from Motorola so you will get the 5.0.2 final release from Motorola on your device and if and there's a slightly there's a very little chance that you won't get but Himanshu says that you uh, that he'll upload some other method in that case so that's good so there are three ways to get lollipop update after you have placed the zip file in both your internal storage and SD card directly the, uh, so the first way is to directly check for lollipop update by going to settings click on about phone and then check for updates I actually updated by this method it worked for me and if you if you can't see any update then this is the second way try for stopping Motorola update services uh, by going into settings and apps and then Motorola update services and then click on force stop and then try checking for updates it will actually force uh, the update even if this does not work then 
here's the third option try rebooting your phone several times and then wait for for some time for 15 to 20 minutes i suggest you wait half an hour and then check for updates it should work and if method one does not work for you well that's there's a very little chance that it won't work then method two is also there which is quite complicated which is adb side loading you can read that and apply this also and for rooted users there is a method three also but i would suggest that you don't go with this method three and if you are a rooted user then head to uh, this website uh, i leave the link to all the websites in the description down below so that you guys can check that so go to this website and this is this website and follow these steps to get lollipop on your rooted device it is actually xdf forum so it's actually better than that look uh, better than th this the techno trial and once you once you just once you do any of these three methods and then it will show you screen like this when you check for updates new system software available you can see new version is this this is the new version and it says that you will copy the update to system memory and the update will be installed so uh, many people would say that you need that in this method you need to download the update two times so it will take twice the internal storage no that's not the case it, it does not download it twice it just copies the downloaded update and click on yes i'm in and then it will show you copying update system update it's copying the update and make sure you have a decent amount of battery life on your phone 84 percent i am i had so make sure you have at least 50 to 60 percent minimum 50 or 60 percent battery in your phone once it finishes copying then it will go into recovery mode and then it will install the system update uh, it actually takes 20 to 25 minutes to install the system update you may s you may think that uh, your phone has been breaked or somewhat but it's not break the installation process is actually going so uh, you will get android 5.0.2 by this method so that's all for this video and i've actually made a dedicated video on android lollipop 5.0.2 on motorola moto e do check that out and do subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned for more hope you guys like this video helpful and do comment in the comment section down below whether if you are experiencing any any difficulties in updating and do give your feedback and i'll be there i'll i'll be there 24 into 7 uh, to reply to, to your comments as soon as possible so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace